Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have the same problem that we did on the previous video, but here we're going to use a better approximation. If you watched the previous video, we played a little fast and loose with some of the approximations that we used. In other words, the missing piece on the ring was considered to be at exactly 30 centimeters away from the origin, and we know that's not really the case because some of the missing ring, since because there's a curvature there, is actually closer uh, in the y direction than 30 centimeters from the origin. So we didn't quite use the correct value. We might be able to use a better approximation still without using calculus. So let me show you. But first, in case you didn't see the previous video, let's quickly read the problem. Find the center of mass of a ring with a radius of 30 centimeters and with a missing piece that's 20 centimeters long. If it was a complete ring, of course, the center mass would be right at the center but since there's a missing piece, it's going to be somewhat below. Notice we found it to be minus 3.56 centimeters or 3.56 centimeters below the center of the origin. Because of the approximation we used, it lowers the center mass of that ring. This is the equation that we used, but now we're going to use a better approximation. Rather than thinking of the missing piece as being 30 centimeters, we have to think of it this way. So here, let's draw the missing piece like this, and here's the center of the, of the ring, and let's draw a straight line across. And let's find the distance to that straight line, the distance to the edges of the ring versus the top of the ring. So this is the radius r, let's call this h, and so now we need to find theta. Now in the previous video, we already found that the fraction of the missing piece was 0.1. 106, or the missing piece, the length of the missing piece, L of the missing piece. Let me write that correctly so we don't get confused here. So what we did on the previous video was we calculated that the length of the missing piece was equal to 0 0.106 times the circumference 2 pi r of the whole ring. So that meant that the angle here, from there to there, this angle here, is going to be 10.6% the complete circle. Or if we just look at half the angle, we could then say that theta is equal to 0 0.106 divided by 2. That's the fraction of the angle relative to the entire circle, and we multiply that times 360 degrees. That's how we find that angle of that particular triangle. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 0 0.106 divided by 2 times 360, and we get 19.08 degrees. So that angle theta is equal to 19.08 degrees. Now the next thing we're going to do is calculate h. So we say that h is equal to the hypotenuse r times the cosine of 19.08 degrees. So h is equal to 30 centimeters times the cosine of 19.08 degrees. And so take the cosine of that times 30, and we get 28.352. So h equals 28.352 centimeters, which means that the distance to the ring to the bottom edge of the ring on the either side is only 28.352 centimeters. Did I get that right? 23. Yes. Now, obviously, not the whole missing piece is that low. The middle of it is at the very top, 30 centimeters away, but the two edges are at 28.352 centimeters. And of course, initially, this middle part right here is very close to 30 centimeters and then begins to drop off quickly. So what I'm thinking is, that perhaps the average position, the average position of the ring is going to be one-third the distance below 30 centimeters. I'm going to take the difference here, so the difference between 30 centimeters, so the, the top is 30 centimeters, and the difference between the two, the difference, is equal to, uh, let's see here, Take that minus plus 30 is uh, 1.648 centimeters, 1.648 centimeters. And let's assume that it's literally that it's about, 
one third the distance down from the top of the ring. Since most of the mass of the missing piece is very close to 30 centimeters, we just take one third of that. So one third the difference is equal to 1.648 centimeters divided by 3, which is 0 0.55 centimeters. 5, 5 centimeters. And that is the position we're going to use to find the center of mass. So we're going to assume that the missing piece is 0.55 centimeters below 30 centimeters or the Y tilde, the center mass of the missing piece of the missing piece is going to be equal to 30 centimeters minus 0 0.55 centimeters which is equal to 29.45 centimeters. So instead of thinking the missing piece is at 30 centimeters from the center, we're going to say it's 29.45 centimeters. So that's going to be fairly close to the actual position of that, middle, um, of that middle piece, the actual average position or the center mass of the missing piece. Now, we're going to find the center mass using that equation. So the center mass is equal to the y tilde of the whole ring, which is zero, it's at the origin, so we're going to take the whole ring minus the missing piece times the mass of the whole ring, and we're going to subtract from that the position of the middle piece, the center mass of the middle piece, which instead of 30, remember we used 30 the last time, we're only going to use 29.45, so 29.45 multiplied times the fraction of the mass that would be equal to 20 centimeters divided by 2 pi times 30 centimeters. So it's the fraction of the total mass of the ring times the center mass of that piece divided by the sum of all the masses, which is the mass of the ring minus, because we have to subtract the missing piece, the mass of the missing piece, which again is that same fraction, 20 divided by 2 pi times 30. Now notice that m's appear everywhere, so we get rid of all the m's. This becomes 1, that becomes, of course, 0. We don't have to worry about that. And now we grab our calculator again. The only thing that has changed that this was 30 before, now it's 29.45. So essentially, what we can do is we can take the previous answer, divide by 30, and multiply it by 29.45. That's the same calculation, because everything else was the same as the previous video. So we take 3.56 divided by 30 times... 29.45 and guess what now we get three point well let's round it off to the center mass is equal to minus 3.50 centimeters so there's a new center mass based upon this better approximation so for method two we found the center mass to be equal to minus 3.50 centimeters and what we've done now is instead of so simply taking the lazy approach for method one and think of the whole missing piece being 30 centimeters away, now we use a triangle. We took one third the distance from there to the bottom of the to the bottom of the, the missing piece. And then based upon that, because that was kind of the average position of the missing piece, we got a new center mass, which is 3.50 centimeters below the origin or below the center of the ring. And that's actually fairly close to the final correct answer. But now we're going to use method three, which actually uses calculus to give us the exact position of the center mass. So if you want to know how to do that, stay tuned. And we'll show you that method as well. Am I beating this horse to death? <laughs>